<laughs> Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. Good morning and happy holidays everybody. It is starting to look a lot like winter and because of that I got a really good and great video of my solo hiking trip up to Mount Rainier National Park this time. Obviously this time it was a little bit more in the winter than it was in the summer because last time I was there was I believe yeah the last week of August and it was right in the end of summer. So this time that I've gone up there instead of it just being dry and hot it's cold covered in snow and a good time. Uh, the point of this trip was to go up there and just you know obviously see Mount Rainier in the middle of winter when it's with it covered in snow and then also to give a little bit of an experimental try for myself to uh, work on taking film photography in the middle of snow because the last few times that I have taken pictures in snow with film has not turned out very well. Um, it's either been super overly exposed where there's no detail whatsoever in the shadows or I've even had a rule come out where the film was just, even though it was a color film, it came out brown and white. So this was my opportunity to go back up to Mount Rainier get myself in a situation where there's a whole bunch of snow and get some practice and getting better at taking pictures in the snow. Um, another point of me going up there today was obviously as it's coming closer to winter I want to have more season appropriate photo prints on the wall for winter and stuff like that and not just have like you know because you know it is the holidays right now I don't want to have just a whole bunch of Christmas decorations up and then leave them up for all the way through till end of March. I want to have more winter specific photography and my prints up on the wall so it fits the season and then when come springtime I'll take the winter photos down and replace them with different springtime photos as well. So that's that. Again I went up to Mount Rainier National Park solo hike. Hope you guys enjoy the video. Good morning you guys. Here at Mount Rainier National Park. Just kind of walking around the uh, trail area by the main inn lodging area on the park just because the uh, roads beyond it don't open up until 9 so I'm going to do some walking around this area and trying to get pictures up here and that right near is already killing it just look at it just think last time I was here all the snow and glaciers and melted down to where all the collected sediment and rock was you know, surfacing so. It's crazy to see it all covered in snow again. And as always, this is stunning. But, yeah, let's get the day started. I know a few keen-eyed of you guys will have noticed that I am carrying two cameras on my side here. I got the trusty EOS 1N and then I've got my digital 5D Mark III. I know, I know, some of you guys are probably thinking, man you shoot film, why you got a digital camera on you? Well the reason being is because the point of today is I want to go up on Mount Rainier National Park and see the snow and take pictures of the park just covered in snow as well. And every time I've shot with film and snow, it hasn't turned out very well. It's been overly exposed. It just didn't come out very well. I haven't had some color film come out like just straight brown and white. So it wasn't a very good outcome. So the reason why I brought this is so I can take test settings on this camera so I can transfer them over to this camera to hopefully get some pictures to actually turn out and have some stuff work out very well for me and get some good pictures. Um, the film that I did bring today is I have a roll of Kodak Tri-X 400 and I brought a roll of Ultra Max 400 as well. I was going to bring the Portrait 160 that I have to do this as well, but the reason being I didn't bring it is because, <clears throat> like I said earlier, 
Every time I've shot snow in the past, it's come out just not very well, so I didn't see it being worth the risk of using a portrait roll of film to take these shots and have them all just turn out bad. So I use just some drugstore Kodak Ultra Max 400, and then I've had this Tri-X 400 sitting in the fridge for a long time, and I just wanted to use it up before it starts going bad, because, yeah, and plus I haven't shot black and white in a while, so let's get it. an unintentional positive of having brought my digital camera with me today is I can take extra pictures of awesome scenes like this. It's just crazy foggy. I got this fallen over tree right here in this little marsh area or like swampy type area. It's just great. I mean the purpose is to why I brought the film was to take pictures up in the snow but since I can't get up to the snow until about 9 o'clock which is about 45 minutes from now I can use that spare time to Venture these little trail areas by the lodge and get these pictures with a digital camera, I guess. And at this point, I had reached the top of Mount Rainier National Park. When I had finished that first loop over by the base camp area, I had noticed that the gates had opened up a little bit sooner than 9 o'clock. So when I had found that out, I grabbed all my stuff, packed it up, threw it into the car, and made my way up to the top of the camp. And this is where the adventure starts. Alright, so we have made it up to Mount Rainier National Park at the trailhead over by the lodge. Just behind the camera over here is a drop off from the, uh, the snow area to the parking lot area. And the lodge is right over there. But behind me we've got Mount Rainier over there and I am currently doing the Skyline Loop Trail again. I'm going the same direction as last time. Um, depending on how the trail looks and it's feeling, I might come back this way and go back the back way from which I took last time. or if it's, you know, doing pretty decent over there, I might go this way, the same direction as last time, and get some pictures going up that way. So, I'm just excited, really pumped to get this snow, though I really wish I did bring some crampons. That's the one thing that I am lacking on. Other than that, it should be a good day. Let's go. I was having a bit of a minor debate with myself as to whether I should do color or black and white first. But because the color has less frames per roll in it, I think I'm going to do color first. And then as I get further down the trail, I'll switch over to black and white again. So I'm going to load up the Ultramax 400 right now real quick, and then we'll get started. Oh dang, the change in case look too, so it's all chrome instead of that black. Once I finish off this roll, I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. But so cool. Got to change the ISO to 400 instead of 160, which I usually shoot at. And we're set. Keep going.
Well, I think I found the first shot of the day on film. This little lodge right here. <clears throat> I took the same picture, but about six months ago during the summer. Let's see if I can recreate it, but instead of it being summer with snow in the background this time. And with what I'm referring to here is a situation that I've only ever had happen to me once before with a much older film camera. And what that was is that whenever you bring any camera equipment out into cold weather such as snowy conditions like this, the battery power within your camera depletes at a much faster rate than normal. And at this rate, my camera was almost dead. And in the race to finish off my roll of film before my camera died, I had found myself highly infatuated with this A-frame camera at the start of the Skyline Loop Trail. I kept taking different angles of this cabin and different perspectives to get the best picture and I believe I did find the best one. So I just finished that roll of the Ultramax 400. And let me show you what I mean by that chrome lined canister instead of it being like that black metal, but let me show it to you. I mean, just look at that. Chrome lined. Instead of having that black paint over it, straight up metal. I love it. At this point, I decided to put my cameras inside my warm car to hopefully warm up the batteries and get a little more juice out of them and to also take this time to just take a little break, collect myself a little bit, and get some lunch. When I had finished my lunch, I checked my cameras and the batteries were still almost dead. 
There was a lot of thoughts of self-doubt, confusion, and I wasn't sure what to do next. But then I thought, you know what? I'm here. Let's just do it anyway. So I grabbed my camera and I started loading up my film. And with reviewing the film scans, I have come to the conclusion that I think it is time to replace my black and white developing chemicals. They came out a little grainy, and I don't think it's the fault of the scanning. I think it's just because I, my black and white chemicals are probably very expired. I don't develop black and white as often as I should anymore, but I think this is definitely an obvious sign that I need to replace my chemicals. Background, of course, unfortunately, it's gonna have this like, green background 
going on for it. Alright guys, well I hope you enjoyed the video. That was my trip up to Mount Rainier National Park. It was a roller coaster ride of good feelings and then self-doubt and then a good amount of recovery. But in the end, I think it turned out pretty well. As you guys saw and heard earlier in the video, I was really, really like just gravitating towards that A-frame cabin that was towards the beginning of their hike. And I think in the end of it, of all the pictures that I did catch of it, this one right here is my personal favorite. It's just, I really like the way that the foreground hits with those little tiny trees and those little piney trees that are in the way and little bushes. And then it kind of is framed up by the uh, trees around it and stuff. So I just, that one of the whole series I got of the A-frame camera, that was definitely my favorite one. I have more videos coming up. This last weekend I went to uh, Haybrook Lookout with my a buddy of mine and I didn't take any video of that just because I want to have it just be you know a, a good time with my friend and just focus on just actually enjoying the hike and having fun and then just kept capturing pictures while we're up there but you will see the pictures I did take on my Instagram um, I just got a few pictures of him I did not get a picture of the actual lookout itself which I kind of wish I had but it was still a good time regardless um, I am going to be going snowshoeing this weekend with the exact same friend uh, we'll be going up to Old Valley Lakes and yeah off of snohomish off of i-90 so it's gonna be a good time please keep your eyes out for that stuff i don't know if we'll be making a video of it or not just because i don't know if i want to do the same thing this time around where it was just me hanging out with my friends or if i'd like to make a video of it i'm not too sure but you for sure will see some pictures coming out of that soon um but yeah i'll see you guys soon have a good holiday <clears throat> Man, I really hate supporting corporations, but the Starbucks Christmas blend is by far my favorite blend of coffee. Normally I drink Black Rifle coffee, but this Starbucks, is, it's the one time year I will support Starbucks, shamelessly. Oh yeah. <clears throat>